Hey guys, so I've been wanting to do a series of readathons for a long time now, but I've been in a bad reading something lately and I just haven't gotten to it. But randomly last night, I just decided that I was going to do a three hour readathon just because I could, and maybe that would get me on my reading slump. So here is my three hour readathon, hopefully, the start of many readathons. So here is the setup for my readathon. I have multiple spots. Right over here is reading station one, my go-to chair. Reading station two is my bed, because obviously. And three is my desk, which I don't normally read at, but I thought I might include it. Here are the playlists that I will be enjoying as I read. We have a Cozy Feels playlist, Cinnamon Girl Vibes, and Dramatic Violins. I have multiple work in progress books right now. I am on page 87 of 13. Page 277 of As Good as Dead, the third book in A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. And only page 27 in Lessons in Chemistry. Enough with the introductions, let's begin. pages I've read through because I honestly didn't check. I'm like, sorry, I'm like talking really quietly right now because my sister is in the other room and I don't want to wake her up if she's asleep or anything. So I think it's been going well lately. I'm really enjoying this book. I just have been in such a bad reading slump lately that I just haven't been getting to it. But yeah, it's really good. I don't really have any else to say but I think I'm gonna be moving on to a different book just to kind of get around I'm definitely not gonna be really finishing anything since it's only three hours and I did pause my timer since again it's only three hours and I want to get the most reading it's like around 1 a.m. and I don't want to wake anyone up so maybe I'll fix my voice and like when I'm editing if I can figure it out because I'm sure it sounds really weird but anyway <music> switch back to as good as dead after this because I really want to finish it before I go to bed. I'm not really tired yet, just quiet. And I might actually start like listening to music and stuff because I realize I haven't been doing that just to add a little bit more life to tonight. But yeah, nothing else to report. <laughs> I read very slowly 
or at least it felt like that. It might have also just been the pace of as good as dead right now because it's like very slow and very detailed and I get why it has to be that. Maybe if you've read the book you kind of know what I'm talking about. It like leaves nothing out but that kind of makes it a pain to read if my mind like doses off as I'm reading it and I'm like awake again like what did I just read? But it's still a good book and I still can't wait to finish it because I don't want to give any spoilers when big stuff happens and I really want to see where it goes because it feels like it's ending but not ending so I don't know what it is but anyway I'm getting a little bit tired hopefully not too tired since it's only three hours but it is really late at night and I did start really late probably just gonna try and finish as good as dead. I don't even think I'll pick up 13 this time. Maybe I'll pick up lessons in chemistry if I get bored. But that's it. We're ready to finish up. So it is the next day and I counted up as many pages as I read and it ran out to about 174 pages which is not a lot but after the reading slump I was in I'm grateful for anything. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope to do more readathons in the future. The next one I'm planning is a six hour readathon which hopefully will be a little bit less spontaneous and more thoughtfully planned out. But anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!